this is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a free update to the renaming toolbox. I've organized the UI to be more intuitive, and renaming now works correctly on objects that are parented or grouped, so let's check it out. Okay, so to launch the tool, you just come up here if you've purchased the full Mega Pack and click the Name button, and that launches the renaming toolbox. So the really nice thing about this tool is, unlike the standard way of renaming things in Maya, it doesn't mess up the increment. So you can use different increment types. So you can come down here and you can choose the increment of 1 or 0, 01 or 0, 0, 001 or 0, 0, 0, 001, and that will work correctly in groups or on parented objects. So first, I'll show you the problem with Maya's default naming tool. So if you come up here and you click this button and then you choose rename, it exposes this field which you can use to rename objects. Then come over here and select your meshes. And you'll note that these meshes are in a group. So now watch what the issue is. So I want to rename these to name underscore zero one and click enter. And boom, it doesn't rename them. It adds underscore zero one to all of the names, and then it puts the arbitrary one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, all the way up to 15. And so you can't actually choose the increment style that you want. And often for video games, it's really common to use underscore zero one. That's like the main naming convention that I've seen in pretty much every project I've worked on. And as well, another flaw in the tool is if I go to rename these objects again, and I go name, underscore zero one, whoops, zero one, and hit enter. It adds to the number on the end. Like that's the last thing that you want. Why would it take the one that's named one and then turn it into 16? It doesn't make any sense. Somehow this tool remembers your renaming between renames, even if you've deselected the objects. If I go again here, name 01, whoops. And then now it's like 31, like what is going on? So let's try it even without adding the thing that doesn't work in the group. So we'll just go name underscore. And then we get zero two. Like what is happening? This is totally wacky. Like I don't understand how this simple tool just, it just doesn't work in any scenario. Okay, and I've just parented some of the objects underneath some of the other objects in the group. And watch what happens now if I try to rename this. So I'm gonna call this name underscore one, which should work with their wacky tool. And what do I get? I get one, one, two, two, three, four. I just, it doesn't work. I don't know. It's so crazy to me that this doesn't work. So basically incrementing your object name is completely broken inside of Maya. Their tool just does not support it. They support only one type of increment, which is their auto increment. And maybe you don't want that type of increment. It's just horrible. I hate it. All right, so enough of that. Let's actually look at the tool that I created, which fixes all these problems. So we've got stuff here in a group with some hierarchy, with some stuff parented, like pretty arbitrary, right? Like pretty like whatever, kind of set it up how you like. Going to select all of these guys. They need to be selected in order because the increment is going to be based on what order you select them in. And you come up into the tool and you give it a name. So I'm going to call this name. And then you give it an increment. So you can see the increment already has the underscore built in. So uh, let's say I want to do underscore one. Just click rename. Boom, works perfectly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way down to 15 in groups, in hierarchy, totally messy, and totally works fine. Now let's try the treacherous one that Maya is incapable of doing. Underscore zero one, probably the most popular naming convention in, in all of video games. Click rename. Boom, zero one, zero two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down. Also doesn't add an extra zero here, which the Maya tool will do, which is so annoying. After Maya gets to 10, it appends a zero in the front of it here. And so you have three increments. So it works totally correctly. So let's just do that again. So you can just come and choose another increment, zero, zero, one, rename, still totally works fine. See only three characters, zero, zero, one, and then when it gets to 10, instead of adding another zero, which Maya does, which is super annoying because then you have four increments and they don't visually look the same, this one moves the one over to the left. So you get zero, 10. So it's always three increments long. And then same thing works as well with four increments. Select the four, click rename, boom. So four, 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 all the way down. So super cool, so helpful. And this will also work between groups as long as you select the objects in order. So if I select all of these first, 
and then I select all of these guys in order here. Just go all the way down. Got a couple extra there. And I want to rename those. Let's go 01 just so it's easier to look at. Rename those to, we can change the name, whatever. Test, sure. Rename. Boom. So you get test all the way down to 15, and then it continues on to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all the way down to 30. So exactly what you want and what you would expect from a naming tool, but that is literally impossible to do in Maya with their default tool. And of course, if you wanted 15 and 15, all you would need to do is select them in two batches. So you got to do this one first. So name 15, and then grab these guys here. Whoops. Grab that and name. And then so you get 1 to 15 and 1 to 15. So again, exactly what you would want because that's how video games work. You always need to have some duplicate names if you want to do hierarchy and stuff. Okay, I've just closed the scene and done a reopen of the scene just to clean out all the names just so we can have these like garbled names so it's a little bit easier to see what's going to happen next. So the next really important feature of the renaming tool is the tool bag name matching button. And so what that does is it allows you to set up all of your object names for the high and low name matching in Marmoset tool bag. And how you do that is you create a group called high and you create another group called low. And any meshes that are in the high and the low will be named to whatever name you choose. Plus, it will append the word high or low, and it will add the increment. So if we want to do this, plus all of these, grab these guys. So let's choose a name, whatever. Polygon. And then instead of clicking rename, you click TB name match. And watch what happens. Boom. You get in the high group, polygon underscore high, 0, 1 to 15, and in the low group, polygon low, 0, 1 to 15. And so when you import those into the Marmoset Baker autoloader, it will automatically sync up the names and put them in the right groups for you. So this can save a lot of time if you're doing complex mechanical models inside of Maya and baking in Marmoset or Substance Painter. As well, we've got a couple other features. We have the prefix and suffix buttons. And what that will do is the prefix will add that word that you choose onto the front of the name and the suffix will add it onto the back. So if we wanted to prefix and suffix this, we could say, uh, oh, I don't know, let's go prefix. And you want to put the underscore here because it's not built into this tool. So if we click that, it adds that word to the front of the object and you can just add it to whatever, how many you want all at the same time. So for some reason, if you wanted to do that, and then same with the suffix, we could go underscore suffix and click the suff button. And boom, there you go. There's your suffix. And now the search and replace, how that works is this field is for the search for. You can see this is the renaming field, and it's also the search for field. And this is the replace field. So what you do is you type something here. So let's remove the suffix, actually, or let's remove the prefix here. So prefix, I don't want that underscore there either. And then I want to replace it with nothing. So click the replace and boom, there we stripped off the suffix or better yet, let's strip something off in the center. I don't like high underscore replace with nothing. Boom, high is gone. Uh, suffix, I don't like that. So let's go suffix with, I don't know, name replace, boom, replaces it. So you have lots of flexibility. You can kind of rename anything how you want. If you mess up the name, you can always come back in and do a search and replace, prefix, suffix, do the name matching, kind of whatever you want. Pretty awesome, actually. I use this tool all the time because I'm working in Unity right now. And when you set up a prefab in Unity, it needs all of the names to remain the same in the Maya file. And so I've often got to come in and name like a bunch of different meshes and just increment them and have those names match and stuff. So been really helpful to be able to do it this way. And finally, I forgot to mention, I've added the uh, version number to the tool as well. Pretty small update, but now you can tell which version you have and compare it with the version in this video. So when you see new features, you can check your own version and see if you're up to date. If you've already purchased the Megascript pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the mega script pack. So take your pick. Thank you very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist.
If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an excellent day.